Yes, another one from a colleague of ours who works in the media says, good morning, Bernard. Mm. Bullying must be discouraged. Now, it is accepted by schools, so you have things like Nino's Night. Seniors can seize food, staffs, and provisions you buy for your children because he's a senior. Schools um, must stop bullying by asking students to report such acts and not be intimidated. I withdrew my daughter from Achimota Stopford House because of this nonsense of seniority, where seniors are allowed to wake up in the middle of the night and switch on lights and make noise and jump. Yeah, juniors can't do the same. Seniors can see stuff of juniors. If you watch the video, the boys knew it was a bullying thing until he hits the boy's head on the bed and there's blood. And he says, you do, Yawa. You see, Charlie, uh, bro, your text, your text message has too many shortcuts. But basically saying that the school should discourage bullying and act swiftly against it. He says, I encountered a boy who dropped out of school because of bullying. So heads must work at stopping it. If I'm the parent of the boy, hell will break loose following this video. This is a, a listener who's not happy with that. Yeah. I, 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 I completely agree with the person. 100%. Yeah. You see, under the guise of school culture, we allow all kinds of, and excuse me to say the stupidity. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll tell you my experience. Same in secondary group. school, Same I had group. a senior. And there's a part of me that wants to mention his name, but Kekile, Kekile, Kekile. Kekile. His I'm dad, I'm his dad is a former, one of the former regional MPP chairmen. So you are keeping steady for now, unless I get. No, he knows himself. So I'll, unless I, I get out. So let's pray I don't get into the spirit. One Friday One Friday afternoon, this gentleman caught myself and a junior of mine mm -hmm. in the interact square. Asked us to sit on the ground. He pulled out a hacksaw, almost chopped my leg off. Hacksaw. And this he is a, almost cut my leg and this off. This is a school with uh, authorities. And then when we say people will say, "Oh, it's school culture, school That's culture, my sense. foot." Take it easy. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's absolute nonsense. Yeah, yeah. The kind of things we allow in secondary school. Mm -hmm. And then the school will say, "What? How is the victim getting punished? Because he didn't report." Yeah, that has the same sense. things when you report, the authorities will say, "Oh, this, that, 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 that yeah. is part of culture. Suck it up." Mm -hmm. Are we serious? I actually think you are right. This adult college. Ah, I'm absolutely you, surprised you, 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 that you, 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 you punish the victim. You punish the victim. Somebody's head has been hit against a bed. Somebody's getting choked. What if he died? Yeah, I say you should, you should have I've heard horror stories of knives being thrown at juniors. Mm -hmm. And then we say that what? It Look, at this school, better get serious in that school. That victim, let him off. Yes. And punish the person who is doing that nonsense in that video. What is this? I actually think that ah. I actually think that you can make it a police case. Because Sky, you see, this is the problem. Assault then eh, it should not be refined because it happened in a school. Have you noticed that sometimes in the English Premier League, mm. if a footballer harasses a referee, sometimes they bring the police in and say it's a case of assault, even though they are playing football. So within even within the confines of a school, the law must apply. If the student is above 18, he should be dealt with by the law. Because, I mean, this guy will carry this thing up, take it to university, do you understand? Take it to community, become a husband, be beating people. If we don't stop it now, he'll continue with it. I'm, I, I think so. So it shouldn't be made like, oh, it's a school issue, let's hash it up. No, no, no. no, no when no, no, no. assault happens in a school, it means the school has failed to protect the people who are there. Do you get it? So the head teacher himself is part of the issue. He should be, why did you allow this to happen in your school? Do you get me? So he's right. It should not be like, oh, the victim should have reported. Do you know the trauma he's gone through? He should you, report, you, like, you, do you, what, what do you mean you should heard, report? Look, look at the video. He's oh, choking. The guy is almost ABC passing also. out. And this is something that happens a lot. And we normalize it and say it's homo and things. Charlie, we are in 2023. Oh. Look, there were things we could do when we were young. Look, there are things you could say. There are so many things people say when we didn't know better. No, you can't say those things. There are so many comments we pass. You remember, very uh, sexist comments that we passed in the 80s because we didn't know better. Now you can't say those things. So in the same way, we can't say that homo's night of 1985. You know, so like when I'm talking to, in terms of so when we went to school, when we went to school, Charlie, when we went to school, there was no internet. <laughs> you understand? So don't go and tell me that when we went to school, there was no internet. So <clears throat> like learning has changed. Knowledge has increased, you know. So let's really use this Adisco thing as a case study. You know, one of the things we waste is 
we waste scandals. Mm -hmm. The uproar this generates should lead to, in some country, Sky, they will even set up. If this happens they, to my child, see, school's closing do, down. Do you know what they, you know what they even do? Mm -hmm. They can pick the name of the victim. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's called Kofi Mensa. Mm -hmm. And then they will set up an inquiry into what happened to Kofi Mensa in serious countries. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Education will now ask for a probe of the conditions in boarding schools. And then they will use that to come up with far-reaching reforms. And then they will credit it to the victim so that they will never forget. That's what people who want to progress do. Mm -hmm. We will share it, talk about our days in school, we'll argue over which school is the best, discuss our homeless night, and move on into our miserableness. Mm -hmm. that, I, 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 I'm saying that that's not, that's not living. That's just existing. Mm -hmm. So this crisis that this has brought, this anger that we are seeing in Nathan, mm -hmm. it's a good anger. I think the minister should call for a probe. He should summon the headmaster and then write to all the schools and say, any report I hear of bullying again, you are sanctioned. The schools will come up with modalities to solve it. That's how you develop societies. You don't circulate things on social media, discuss it for two days and move on to the next topic. That's and not what we see, do. Look, and, and In a I, society that doesn't use scandal for reform, we can't do better. So I really want to urge the minister. I want to urge the minister to take very serious view of the video. Because it is serious, Sky. It is, it is very, very serious. It is, it is, it is, it is serious. So two, two stories trending this morning. Bullying in Addis Adel College. Horrific video circulating of a student, essentially just Miss Manhandling, another student. And the GS has sent a statement on this. The school itself, we understand, has taken some action. Apparently, a house master has been relieved of his duties. And the students involved have been sanctioned. Although, what we are told is that the victim was also sanctioned, which we don't think makes a lot of sense or makes any sense. I want to ask to do something for me because I feel, you see, b because we allow things to happen and we don't test the law, so many nonsensical things happen. So if, for example, the parent of this student decides to go to court, make this a criminal matter and report assault, right? The video is there as evidence. His son has been brutalized. He sues the victim, uh, the, the culprit, sues the head house master, sues the headmaster, sues the PT. <laughs> because when you send your child to a boarding school, there's a certain unwritten arrangement that will protect your child. I, I, it's a test of the law. Because you cannot have, a, a, and I'm sure if the case succeeds and the judge is minded to uh, agree with the, the, the people who complain, other schools will start, because I think schools are negligent because they get away with it. That's one angle. Yeah. Now, the other angle is that, you know, when I said the government should do something, a lot of people are saying that the school system itself is the problem. Some teachers are saying, for example, that they are not able to instill discipline in their students because they are outnumbered. Let me read this one from a gentleman. He says, Bernard, I am a house master in a high school and the situation is dire. Our authority is taken away and students have been given power. If the school is not naturally a disciplined school, the system will fail you if anything happens. We, the teachers, are on our own and it's so bad. Students now use phones and they have masters who help them charge it. And even if you seize their phone, a, a senior teacher will come and beg him for it on their behalf. Things are getting worse in our secondary schools. All right, another one uh, that came in. Um, my advice to the parents of the bullying victim, they should make it a police or legal case. They shouldn't let it slide. All right. And then, Bernard, good morning. The situation in our current SHSs is, is horrendous. The current GES system does not allow any school head to dis instill discipline. You need approvals all the way to the regional office before common suspension can be made. For dismissal, you need approval from the GES headquarters. Ah! They, they, they know it, so they are trying to bring in dean of discipline. The real solution is reforming the entire structure of the GES so the school structure will be empowered to instill using the disciplinary committee system, which was the case until the 1990s. So you see, as we started talking about this, most people are, 
I'll bring angles. Then there are also Western region stories. Bernard, the roads in the Western region are beyond description. I was in the region last two weeks. From Takadi to Agonan Kwanta is an absolute disaster. Uh, Bernard, the life in the Western region is another thing altogether. I did my service in a town called Huni Valley. Takwa is the only town in Ghana that boarding a car is done by the car's registration number. Anyone who lives in Takwa can live in any part of the world. In all this level of difficulties, amenities also bad. During the, my days, the stretch between Aboso and Damang was not even done. And you had to put on headgear to travel that route. Thanks to Goldfields, that stretch has been done now. This is from Egbezuale. So there are two stories running concurrently. Um, so guys, let's let's manage them concurrently. So let me come to the bullying story. Sky, mm. it is my contention that the video shows clear case of battery. Mm -hmm. It happened in a school. That the, the, the laws of Ghana don't cease to operate because you're in a school. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has been battered in this manner or assaulted in this manner, they can make it a court case. They should go to the police. Don't you think so? Yes, um, but before I proceed, it will be useful to know how old um, the people involved are. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, if they are within the bracket of the uh, what our acts call the juvenile justice system, mm -hmm. uh, basically <clears throat> they are not up to 21 years or so and um, mm -hmm. are therefore technically not to be subjected to the hardcore criminal justice system for adults, mm -hmm. then they will go into the juvenile justice system. So it will actually be useful to know exactly how old they are because mm -hmm. we do know that at times that you have older people sometime in 21-year-olds or more mm -hmm. Um, in our secondary school because of mm -hmm. special circumstances. Uh, so it is unclear as to, um, you know, how old they are. But what is clear, though, is that our laws abhor causing unlawful harm mm -hmm. to any person. Mm -hmm. And if you go to uh, the criminal code, as we commonly call, call it, Section 69 deals mm -hmm. with causing harm. Mm -hmm. And it says that a person who intentionally and unlawfully causes harm to mm -hmm. any person commits a second degree felony. Serious. Um, so it is, it is and, and in the UK, we call it grievous bodily harm within the, mm. the common law uh, system. And it applies in Ghana as well, mm -hmm. which is GBH. In this case, you are talking about harming someone to the extent that you have cut through the layers of the skin as mm -hmm. to cause blood to come out. Mm -hmm. um, from the video that I saw, and if the video is to be believed, uh, let me issue that caveat. It would seem that the gentleman, one of the, the young men, was chokeholding the, yes. the victim. Yeah. Um, and eventually he pushed him against a bank bed or a metal surface. Uh, resulting in a deep cut on mm -hmm. his face. Mm -hmm. um, in in my respectful view, it would seem to come within the scope of Section 69, uh, which abhors grievous bodily harm to mm -hmm. another person to the extent the uh, harm caused uh, resulted uh, from some unlawful conduct. Um, yes, as you, you stated, it is a matter that can be taken to the police, but as I explained much earlier, it will have to be dealt with, provided the, 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 the people involved are within mm -hmm. the, the, the ages of 12 to 18 or so. Okay. Uh, they would then come within the, mm -hmm. the, the, the okay. criminal justice I, I have system. A parent, uh, I have a parent who I believe sent you a voice note. Yes. Uh, I understand he's a parent of Addis Adel College, but he, he prefers to be anonymous. anonymous. Yes. So I'm just going to check uh, with him if he still has a word in the school, what form his word is. And... He has, a, he has a same story yeah. or a similar story. Yeah. All right. So, uh, good morning, sir. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. You are welcome, my brother. So, you confirm that you are you are a parent of a student in Addis Adult College? Yes. So, what is your uh, experience or what is your uh, story? Okay. Good morning to my listeners. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. I have a boy in the form two. Uh, I went I went to the school myself. So when we get the admission, at the first uh, break, when the guy came, I cried. I said, ah, now what is it? 
And he said, that he don't know what is going on. I was laughing because I have also been into the school, the boarding system. And the girl was complaining. I said, no, that is not the situation. So I didn't mind him. After lunch, the second time, he went again. When the guy came, I said, ah, what is going on? And he said, daddy, we cannot be even sleep. When the form trays are going, the month before they left school, they will be beating them from morning to the evening. So they will be sleeping in the classroom. Sometimes, even dining quad, they can't go. The guy doesn't even bath. When you see my boy, and when you... So I was confused. So I approached one of the teachers in the school. And that uh, means that the things they are going, <laughs> the things are going on, they can't even understand. When they approach it, even the headmaster cannot even control that system. I'll give you one typical example. You can find that from a fancy thing. They went for, is it in Taco or something? They are a headmaster and everything. The boys are so wicked, you can't see the bullying. I have so many pictures, and I wanted to get it and send it to you guys. So I don't know what is going on at that school. So it's so terrible. Uh, what specifically did they do to your son? Did he tell you, or you just deciphered from his demeanor that he had been bullied? Did he actually tell you what happened to him? Yes, uh, they will come and they said they are going because they have finished doing their registration. They will use the bed and the hook. They will be fun. When they are using the hook, you can see it from the boy's chin. When they tell you to do something, whether you do it or you not, they will. When they come in, they come in a group, like eight. And 20. So once you can't do anything. So they will be beating you from any angle. For what For what reason? When they come, they say, give you your food. They'll give it to them. They'll say, you are hiding it. So everything they will request you. They gave my boy 50 pesos to go and buy water about uh, 24, the thing. And he said, I'm not having anything on me. How can I use 50 pesos to buy 20 water for? And that is the, 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 the only thing the guy told them. How they beat my boy. I was so mad. That is why I called the master. So the teacher told me, even the senior house masters, when they are watching, could you imagine that they work with the cutler? The senior house master, they, they do what? The house, the house master, if they are working at the campus, some of them use some gadgets on them because they are scared of the students. Because they can be attacked. The housemaster works with the cutlers because it's afraid students will attack I'm him. I am telling you as a fact. You can find later on I can give you all the details and you can find out from the school. That's cool. So you are basically saying law and order has broken down in the school? Completely. And this has been Completely. ongoing for how long? Because your son is informed to you, which means that this has been for, for two years. years. Yeah. Have you made attempts to raise this at PTA meetings or with the head teacher? That I tried the PTA normally because of the system they are running. So that they are running, my boy is in the house now and they are in school. So sometimes the PTA will come on while the guys are in the house. I try to communicate with the headmaster and the assistant headmaster. But you say it and they said, oh, the students, that is how they are behaving. That is how they are starting. So now I wanted to compile all the evidence and send it to DS or anything because I want that thing to be stopped. There, do, you, did you, do you talk to other parents of genius who have similar experiences to share? We have a platform the parents in the school, in the class has a platform. So on the platform, people are also saying the same thing. And some of his friends, I will call them or when they come to the house, I'll find out that what is going on. And they'll be saying the same thing. It's not even one house. All their houses. The bullying is getting out of hand in Addis Ababa. All right, thank you for sharing. I'm hoping that this will lead to something. So this is a parent from Addis Ababa College whose son is informed to him. He says that law and order has broken down in the school. The seniors just randomly beat 
there's there's uh, the students who are genius that had the house masters are afraid I claim some of them we work with cutlasses and things and he's suggesting that this is something that their school authorities are aware of and they are not willing to do anything about let's uh, do a few announcements i'll come back to this story because i want to talk to the nagrat and ask them whether they know whether this is true all right because uh, teachers are a key stakeholder in this and <coughs> there's a sense in which there's some teachers are also claiming they feel helpless so there's one side of either the teachers being overwhelmed or another side where they are just not competent or a mixture of the two we don't know but in the meantime if you have a an experience to share on this secondary school situation send us a whatsapp 054-998-6996 a disadel video trending very very sad indeed this is supposed to be one of the best schools in ghana and from the reports we are hearing it is not acceptable here's a message that's pretty disturbing bernard pts don't exist anymore the ministry made sure they collapsed my brother if you want to go into our shs system you need a whole day's program because everything is collapsed curriculum meals discipline teaching and learning school management supervision and intuition etc etc this is a person who is on a pta mm -hmm. of a school mm -hmm. so i i don't know i i need to read a, com a couple of comments and hope to speak to a, a, another person but here's a message from a lawyer mm -hmm. you and i know mm -hmm. and he says <clears throat> where's this message uh, give me a minute it says bernard the disco thing is a criminal matter the police should be involved and some juvenile prosecution should be happening to serve as a deterrent. Mm -hmm. There are all forms of bullying happening even in primary schools. This cannot be solved using administrative measures. This is from a legal person. All right, so those are some comments coming in. Let's read a few more on the issue of bullying. Okay, this one says, uh, Bernard, greetings to you and your panelists. Please, this is a case of assault and it needs to be reported to the police for action. No matter the age, the law... Um, has a way of dealing with juvenile, juveniles and there is um, a juvenile um, court uh, in, in, in every uh, district. Why are we not allowing the law to work? He can be no, no, he can't be sent to jail. He can't be. Yeah, uh, we need to know. Is, why can't he be jailed? No, they, they, they are under the Juvenile Justice but, Act. When you are a juvenile. What is a juvenile? So a juvenile like us was. But a the thing is, doing is that how juveniles behave? That is not how they behave. But you see, the the expectation of society. Which Age is not. If you look at his state of mind, he has a dark mind. He's a wicked person. You shouldn't be treated like a juvenile. You should be treated like a wicked adult. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's good, I'm not a judge. <laughs> I mean, I'll be wicked. <laughs> this person that, that is a juvenile. So they have. He has a wicked mind. They have correctional fac facilities around the country. Yeah. Which 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 seek to reform them. But are you saying juveniles are below twenty? I thought juveniles are below eighteen. So if it's eighteen uh, yes. and above. So there, there's there's there's. So I was saying that it's a range. You are dealing with if you are nine years old, for instance. Yes, we know. But this guy, this, look at the body. It's a, it's, this guy is not a juvenile. But eleven, they're about up to eighteen. Sky, you a secondary have, school boy, they grow. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how old the, the the guy is, right? But I assume that he would be within. But are you saying we cannot report this to the police because they're juvenile? I've not said that. I said uh, that yes, a report can be yeah. made to the police. Yeah. It will be taken up, but it will be dealt with most likely under the Juvenile no. Justice Administration. Okay. okay. In which case, if there is an adverse finding, mm -hmm. you know, the court find that he actually did what he's accused of doing, mm -hmm. um, of course, the district court will deal with this matter. Okay. They would, uh, they would, they would take him to a correctional facility mm -hmm. where the expectation would be that by the time he comes out, mm -hmm. having you know spent the um, the judicially sanctioned time there. Mm -hmm he would have reformed and mm -hmm. become more useful to society. But you agree that police can come in? Oh, yeah, the police So is it the parents who should file the complaint? Yes, the, the parents yeah. can file a complaint. Yeah. Can um, they join the school to the matter? No, that's a criminal matter. So the, the parents should join the school. Unless you can prove that there was criminal negligence. Oh, but there was. Well, you and I went. Oh, there. but there was. <laughs> <laughs> they for join everybody. They for, and but there can also be a civil action. Which civil action? For damages. Yeah, because in this case... Yeah. On, uh, on, you know, harm has been caused. So this Terrible. is a tortious liability. Charlie. 
Um, so civil action, properly yeah. grounded, yeah. can go after the school included because the the parents took the ch- the child there mm. uh, with a legitimate expectation that there will mm. be proper guardianship as to Charlie. protect the child at all, right. all material time. All right, let me let me talk to Samuel Salamat, independent consultant to the Ministry of Education. He's mm. been a headmaster before. He does a lot of research on secondary schools. Now, some of the messages I'm getting suggest that there's been a breakdown of discipline in our schools. Indeed, the parents we spoke to says, in this adult college in particular, there's a breakdown of law and order. The teachers are afraid. The students outnumber them. It says some teachers work with cutlasses because they are afraid the students will harm them. Groups of students go about just beating people. Mr. Salamat, does this come as a surprise to you? A parent called into the show telling me that in a disorder college of which his son is informed to, law and order has broken down. Another parent is telling me that generally the PTS don't exist. Discipline has broken down. And everything in our secondary school system is basa. Is this something you can confirm based on the work you do? Yeah, the person is exaggerating. In fact, I have visited 87 senior high schools from uh, 2017 to date. And I, do, I think the person is exaggerating. As for discipline, it has always been there during my time when I was even a student. You see, human beings by nature is egoistic. And we always want to do what we like. And sometimes what we want to do may be at variance of what is the norm. So after this private issues, it will always be there. But to see, to blow it out of proportion, I think that the person has gone rather too far. Okay. But have you seen the video we are discussing? Uh, the video of a yeah, secondary school yeah, student. Yes. Yeah, and what, what's, what, yeah. what, what, what do you think of that? You think it's an isolated case? Uh, I think it's an, uh, I, it's, I can, it should be an isolated case. Because I have been to Addis Abel myself. It's one of the schools I visited. The 87 schools I visited have been there myself. And I don't think that the situation is so there. You see, of course, the numbers, as you rightly uh, pointed to, is also a factor. You know, when there are so many people, they come with so many challenges, and one of them is discipline. So what I have told the heads, anytime I go to school and I meet management, I tell them that human society has become more complicated and more complex than before. So what they should use to combat discipline is to keep data. To keep data. To make sure that they keep data. Anytime they have a group of students that they want to go and punish, they should not just go and punish them and leave it like that. They should take the pain to keep data on the students that they are going to punish. For instance, they are going to ask students to weed. You write the offense, then you write the name of the student, the class, the program, the form, blah, 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 blah. The next time you see similar situation, you keep the data. Then you begin to see that there will be certain patterns and regularities. You may find out that a, 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 a homogeneous group Say, when I go to the school, most of them complain about visual arts. I don't agree with them. But you find, let me use what they say. You may find out that, let's say visual arts, majority of the students that are involved in infractions of school rules and regulations, maybe say visual arts, or maybe from science, or maybe from general arts, then the school can then use targeted intervention. I think the disciplinary issues are coming up so many because lack of data. There's lack of data. In okay. Schools. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Salama. Thank you. So that was the uh, consultant to the Minister of Education who's saying that he believes that it's a question of data that we need to use to solve the problem. We're still talking about secondary schools in Ghana. I'm going to read a few more comments. I'll do another interview shortly. Um, this one is coming in. Uh, uh, Nathan, please help me with the comments. And um, Daniel Intema says the issue of bullying at this level 
in senior high schools has been happening for years. Students share these stories casually because it's become the norm. Mm. In Fancy Pim and Addis Adal especially, mm -hmm. you just cannot understand how these students behave sometimes. Right. The kinds of things they do are absurd. All the right. SHS system is terrible. Couple more. Yeah. Uh, this one says, you said it all. Mm. What you are saying will only happen in a serious country. We are not. After all, how many of the children of the people who can really change the situation are in our schools? Balfour Commando is asking. Andrew from the Upper East Region says, I remember... No, friend, UEW. Okay, UEW. Yeah. He says, I remember a friend on a shared, who slept on a shared tree throughout his first year in school. Just because of terrorization. All right, another one says... Mm -hmm. Come, uh, Bernard and team, back at St. Monica's in 2004, a, a junior was stripped naked, humiliated at the dining hall in front of the school by some prefects. The junior in question became traumatized as a result and was mentally unstable. She had to be sent home for treatment. She was never herself again. Meanwhile, a, meanwhile the school goes on normally. Mm, this one says, there's a young boy in my church who entered a, a, a Boakwa State College. He came home after the first semester and said he wouldn't go back. The reason was that his seniors forced them to smoke weed late at night. And if you refused, they would beat you. And this happened almost every other day. Kobe from Oyari first sense that. Let's speak to Enjo Kabano, who is the president of Nagrat. There's a feeling that law and order is breaking down in our schools. The Addis Adel video has been corroborated by another parent who says that his son informed to complaints of bullying regularly. And that some of them sleep in classrooms because the seniors are just terrible. And the teachers themselves appear terrified of the, some of the students because they are outnumbered and overwhelmed. And some people are also saying that the system does not allow them to even punish students. And therefore, all power has been taken from them. Angel, uh, thanks for joining us. First, have you seen this Addis Adel video? And what do you make of it? Uh, let me let me start by saying that I, I, I am completely shocked at the position that uh, my my very good friend and school classmate Salamat uh, is taking, and I don't know, but I I, I I am surprised at the position Salamat is taking. His conclusions are are very far from the realities that are going on in our senior high schools. And his suggestions are like taking paracetamol to solve malaria problems. My brother, uh, since the Ghana Education Service announced a change in how students are disciplined, for example, the announcement that came that uh, caning is banned in the school and that schools cannot outright uh, withdraw or dismiss students, and so on and so forth. From that time to now, discipline in our schools has been on, has been on the downslide. And the situation has gotten so complicated to the extent that teachers right now are helpless and do not even know how to handle the situation because a few teachers who have decided to exact punishment on erring students found themselves on the wrong side of the regulations uh, given by the Ghana Education Service. Uh, don't forget, just a year or two ago, after WASE exam, students in a senior Catholic senior high school in Ashanti bent down the dormitory. And students went to write an exam and they found that they had the, the, the exam was a bit difficult. They came onto social media insulting the president destroying school property because they have a sense of entitlement. Teachers, the number of teachers who have been beaten, an example is a teacher at Nungwa, uh, Nungwa a teacher at a uh, three-town senior high school in, uh, in Denu. Yeah, I think it's in Denu where a teacher was beaten and then his arm was almost uh, uh, slashed off and so on and so forth. These are common practices in the senior high schools and let me tell you, these days, most teachers have even added metal barricades to their bungalows because of some of these uh, behaviors. Because of the free senior high schools, people with aggregate 45, aggregate 50, people who themselves do not even think that they are senior high school materials, have all found themselves in the schools. 
some of them for the past three years. They have not written a single exam. And yet, you cannot repeat a student under free senior high school. You can't repeat a student under free senior high school. So the student comes to Form 1, to Form 3. He hardly attends school. He's not written any exam. But as a headmaster, you need to write back to the regional office. I know a headmistress who re uh, requested from the regional director that a student is absented herself from school almost throughout the semester. As a result of that, they wanted the student to repeat. The regional director advised the headmistress that, please, under free senior high school, you cannot do that. So it's a free-for-all situation in our senior high schools as we speak. How bad is the outnumbering? The one angle of this is the fact that because the students are many, the, there aren't enough bungalows to have teachers to even supervise the borders. And therefore, you have a situation where there's so many students and so few teachers. Can you give us an example of that? And is that one way of resolving this? Because at the time I was in Presec, I mean, we're only 400 in my form. When we're in Form 3, right? The, I mean, when I was in Form 2, the Form 3s were 300. So the whole school was less than 1,000. And almost every house, the, the house masters were not that far off. Indeed, in House 7 and House 8, the teachers slept at the top floor of those houses. So <laughs> there was always teachers around. Now... I don't know what ratios we are dealing with now and whether the issue of teachers on campus should be where we start the solutions from. In fact, the population is ballooned out of control. In most, especially the top 65 to 70 senior high schools in this country, where everybody will want their son and daughter to attend, the populations have ballooned out of proportion. As we talk about Presec, your total population is over around 4,000. It's actually 5,300 5, yeah. uh -huh. when all three streams are in school. That's right. Within the same geographical space. And we have not had significant infrastructural development in the school. So definitely these high numbers are going to create serious problems for discipline in the school. And it's the, the same story in most of the top senior high schools in this country. Secondly, the in-out-out-in thing, which is called the transition thing or the uh, double-track thing, is not helped us in terms of ensuring discipline. Because you, you don't have a stable composition of your students in school for control purposes. As we speak, some students are at home, others are in school. By the time they go home, others are coming to school. So even the students themselves do not even know who uh, my uh, my colleagues are. And then again, if we have one set of prefects, the control that even the prefects should have, because we don't have a homogeneous set of students going to school at the same time, all create, create serious problems. Look, the situation is such that we need to take bold decisions. Teachers have to be empowered to be able to exact disciplinary measures in school and ensure that we bring the situation under control. What we are doing, we are creating mayhem in our schools. Um, a, 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 a PTA member sent me a message and says that if I want to go into our SHS system, I will need a whole day's program because everything has collapsed. According to Absolutely. this person, curriculum, meals, discipline, teaching, learning, school management, supervision, and everything has collapsed. Is this person exaggerating? No. Look, when I was in uh, uh, Pope John, uh, of course, you know, Pope John is a step higher than Presec, you know that one. That one you will not argue. Oh. When, I was in, when I was in Pope John, this you know, Catholic schools usually do not have, do not like large population. When it is time for dining, whether you will eat or you will not eat, once you are in a boarding house, you will have to come to the boarding and be accounted for. Even with Presec, it's the same. Oh, you, 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 okay, okay. Whether you are eating or not, you have to be in the dining hall. You have to be in the dining hall. All school gatherings are compulsory. Yes. You know, so this, this helps in uh, conformity, control, and discipline in the school. Look, I recall, sometimes at night, you don't even know when house masters come and they, and, and they conduct roll call. And you know, those days, my time, there were no mobile phones. So you cannot even call friends from town to rush back to school. 
roll calls, and when you are found not to be in the dormitory at the time you are supposed to be in the dormitory, next day, suspension. So there was control and discipline. And those who wanted to come to school to study were able to study and get what they want. Because, you see, we have what we call the mirror effect. If you do not create that disciplinary environment, very school, serious school uh, students can be adversely affected. And it told, or it, I mean, there was a telling on the type of results that were coming out from the school. This is what a, a school environment is supposed to be an environment that will ignore uh, uh, teaching and learning, an environment of harmony where people can stay and learn, not only an environment to be certificated. You see, but today we are getting the reverse of what we are supposed to, and it is affecting very serious students. Because that environment can negatively affect very serious students. We need to revisit our senior high. Look, Bernard, let me tell you, there is a private school now in Kaswa. The total amount of money you pay is 6,000 Ghana cities. I spoke to a parent yesterday. Uh, the parent does have one child in a public school, and the other child in the private school. And the parent told me that the, the child in the private school is even doing better because that one, the school uh, term is uh, fixed. Uh, there's nothing like going home and coming back. But the amount of money she is spending on the girl in the public school by sending her food, by paying this, by paying that, is almost equal to what the child in the private school is, is, is paying. Why are we burying our heads in the sun and acting as ostrich? All right. The Adisco case, what I am told is that the house master was um, relieved of his duty as house yeah, master. But, but, but Bernard. Now, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was going to ask if, in terms of the arrangement we have, that's enough. Because in the video we saw, we are told that all three were punished. Apparently, the student who, the victim was also punished for not reporting. So we are told. The but Bernard. <laughs> Yeah. What did the house master do? Well, it happened in his house and he wasn't there. Oh, but the, the students are in their dormitory. The house master is in his bungalow. And two students decided to misbehave. If it were a case where the report came to the house master and the house master did nothing about it, then there is a case. But the house master who is gone to his house, to his home, and the students in their dormitory, M -m 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 misbehaving. What has the house master done in this case? Well, maybe we didn't put a system in place to ensure that they could report. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a question of ultimate responsibility because, look, if something happens within your jurisdiction, you are the house master for a reason. So if there's no system for this to be reported to you from June 30, and you had to take a viral video for the headmaster to hear about it, if I were the headmaster, I would suspend the house master. Then the headmaster should equally be suspended. Well, he, he, he can't suspend himself. So whoever he's suspending, <laughs> they, can, they can continue the chain of suspension. You see, you see, let me say that house masters and house mistresses do not generate or implement rules by themselves. The house masters and house mistresses work under the assistant headmistress or headmaster uh, domestic, who also work under the headmaster. So general body house rules are developed within the confines of the Ghana Education Service rules and regulations. Within the dormitory, there is a dormitory prefect who is reports to the house prefect. So if an incident occurs in the dormitory, the dormitory prefect is supposed to report that incident either to the house prefect or the uh, uh, house master or house mistress, as the case may be. If the house master or house mistress does the report and fails to take action, then he or she is culpable. But you see, there is something among boys' boys' schools. Boys do not report cases because it will be a sign of weakness. So when you bully a boy, the reaction of the boys is totally different because the boys have this occult uh, behavior where any boy who reports is a weakly. And he's also waiting to get to Form 2 or Form 3 to repeat what the seniors did to him. So boys usually do not report uh, uh, beating or bullying to 
school authority. And those video apparently might have been taken by a student. And the objective of the student who took the video may not be to report. It might have got into social media by mistake. So today, 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 if you go to that boy who was being bullied, I can assure you, he will defend the senior and tell you that they were playing. Mm. Mm. So that is a much deeper problem. Oh, yes. It's, look, the, the situation, I teach in a girl's school, and I tell them that, look, you people are totally different from the school that I attended. I attended a boys' school from form one to upper six. The issue of the matter is that in boys' school, any boy who reports being beaten or being bullied is seen as a dadaba, and you are you don't want to be described as dadaba because it's a sign of weakness. Toxic masculinity. That's what they yes, call it. I mean, that is, where it de- that is where it develops from. Later on, you'll be given tutorials on how to chase girls. You'll be given tutorials on how to be tough. You'll be schooled as to how to behave when you go to intercourse and all that. Look, you will even be surprised that the senior who bullies you most becomes your mentor. Mm. God, God forbid. <laughs> Not in my life. <laughs> by, by the way, the thing you said about Pope John's is, is generated a lot of storms. So no, but it's true. But I, th- it's I think true. if you just withdraw it quietly so we can make progress. Oh, because it's, it's led to... <laughs> I mean, a school, a, a, STEM, a school with a STEM life where we have a lot of disciplined boys. I mean, of course, you can't compare, I mean, Bernard, this one, let us not argue about this, okay. because I can give you numerous examples. Okay, no problem. So uh, yours, uh, is a, yours is a minor seminary, so I'll... I'll... Yes, there is a minor seminary attached to the schools, and the boys are very disciplined, at least compared to... Bernard, this one, you know. Right. But my final question is that there are so many issues with education, secondary and basic. We have a year and a half to elections. I mean, should we... Should we what, don't, can't Nagrat do a bit more advocacy to, to because like every parent you call will say that we are not happy with what's happening in the schools. The food yes. is not good enough. The teachers are not many. The students are too many. There's so many problems, but we don't seem to be able to unravel the matters. What is the, yeah. what's the problem? Yeah, Bernard, uh, uh, this October, the 25th anniversary of Nagra is going to be launched and the focus is going to be the review of free senior high school. We have decided to mobilize parents, to mobilize NGOs, to mobilize the media. We have to take the discussion and the argument from the hands of the politicians. In fact, there was a prophecy made at CTFM, which is very true, that if the new patriotic party does not touch the senior high school, politically, no other political party can touch the free senior high school. And, and it is absolutely right. That is why I Nagrat is this 25th anniversary that we are preparing to launch. We are launching it with the uh, decision that we will put pressure on government to start reviewing the free senior high school, and all stakeholders will have to come to the table. That is wonderful. Thank you, Angel, for talking to us as ever. Angel Carbon, the president of Nagrat, and uh, he's been talking to us. Now, here's a very interesting study on bullying that somebody sent me the abstract. I just want to read some. So this is written by uh, Richard Cliff and somebody called Ekuma. It was written in 2018. I think Richard Cliff Ekuma, that's the name. It's a BA thesis, 2018, Ashesi University. So the abstract says, the study sought to investigate whether the peer bullying culture in an all-male senior high school in Cape Coast is related to business leadership and job performance of these students post-high schools. Specifically, the study explored the various ways in which the bullying-like behavior in guess which school at this other college, influence the likelihood of students to transform into successful business leaders after completing the high school. The main question adopted for the study was, are there any relationships, positive or negative, between the peer bullying culture in high school, job performance, and successful business leadership options in Ghana, operations in Ghana? An exploratory research was adopted in answering the questions on the study. Through this, a sample of 130 old students of Addis Adel College were, who constituted those in active employment and those schooling at the tertiary level were used for the phase one of the study. Interviews which constitute the second phase of the study was conducted with 20 business leaders from the same school to answer the research question. Now, this is, this is what I find shocking. Findings indicate that there is a positive relationship between the experience of the bullying-like behavior as a tradition in Addis Adel College and its influence on successful leadership operations in Ghana. However, 
The exhibition of bullying-like behavior should be understood in the context of the environment in which it operates, as it could have severe detrimental effects in some other instances. So it's not uh, all positive. This is submitted to Department of Business Administration as investing invested in partial fulfillment of the BA study. Well, I respect the academic study, mm -hmm. uh, which is a noble thing to do always because it helps us shape policy. Mm -hmm. Uh, or it should ordinarily help us with policy. Um, the fact is you cannot bully another person. You know, the right to bodily autonomy is, is, is constitutionally guaranteed and is guaranteed about, by, by our laws generally. So you cannot go about bullying people in the name of subsequently instilling in them Mm -hmm. a certain, you know, uh, potency to be mm -hmm. able to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. Clearly that is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And as I was saying, this particular matter can make it to the police, mm -hmm. depending on the age of the people involved. If the young man is somewhere above 12 years old, uh, he can be dealt with within the criminal justice system. But mm -hmm. in this case, we are talking about the juvenile justice system. Mm -hmm. And also, as I stated earlier, the parents are entitled, if they so wish, to sue the school, yeah. to sue the, 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 the parents of the... The, the boy who 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 uh, did what he's alleged to have done, uh, you know, because this is this clearly imposes tortious liability, it would mm -hmm. seem, yeah. and the courts would deal with the matter. Mm. Um, Here is a comment from a person. It says, "I'm a I'm one of the headmaster. Sorry, I'm one of the house masters mm. in one of the best secondary schools in Ghana. I blame GES for the impunity in our senior high schools. GES and parents over the past six years have supported students who breached the code of discipline in our schools with impunity." Headmasters and headmistresses are now politically appointed. Mm. Some of their heads cannot bite. Jesus intimidates them on a daily basis. Students have free space to misbehave. Housemasters and housemistresses are rendered useless. Mm. The disciplinary committee system has been broken down with the advent of free SHS. And this one from Ken Kweku Ashibe says that, uh, Richard, how could only one person be suspended? What about all the people in the dormitory? This is not bullying. This is assault that could have led to uh, the death of the young man. This young boy could still develop irreparable, da irreparable damage. All those in that dormitory who did nothing and watched as this happened should be punished. If this had happened to my son, I'm sorry, it could land me uh, into prison too. <laughs> this is so unacceptable and we need to stop it. The school should do better than only suspending one person. And the police should be interested in this and ensure the full sanctions of the law. Michael the sent this one in. Mm -hmm. He says, GES introduced a policy of no corporal punishment without teaching teachers the alternatives to ensuring discipline in our schools. That's point one. Point two, the number of students in our schools is just too many for teaching and non-teaching staff to handle effectively. He says, for example, Presec has 5,000 students. I, I have an authority there for over 5,000. We need to go back to value-based education in our schools. The private schools get it. Why don't the public schools? The key to stopping the vicious cycle of bullying in our schools is to teach students to find their center, their true north, you say. All right, here's more comments, Nathan. All right, this one says, My sister's son was nearly killed just yesterday at Accra Academy. Oh, oh. Accra. He, <sighs> he was accused of stealing a phone. And they later realized it was not him. My sister was called around 4 a.m. by the housemaster to come for her son. What the housemaster said was, please come for your child before he's killed. Look at that. As I type, he's at the hospital. This is such this is scandalous. I mean, so it means that the school, yeah, they don't care. No, no. You yeah, it's like, come for, can you imagine? No. Can you imagine a school telling your, your a parent to come for their child before he's killed? It, it, it's, it's that serious. I mean, look, you are there as the guardian they don't care. of the children in your care or the, the students in your care. You are the first line of defense hmm. to ensure that people's rights or the, 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 the rights of the students hmm. are properly protected. I mean, what is this thing about you? If, if this claim is true... Hmm. You know, it should be investigated. And if it is true, something should happen to, 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 to the person who was in charge of the, the hall at the time that this they thing happened. They come for your happen. child before they are killed. I mean, look at this. So I, look at this. I, and, and you see, Bernard, I, I don't know where we are going with... 
I mean, what what prompts me? That's for I had to go ask, and even misbehave in a school. I like ask for a cracker, they won't talk their matter because they'll say because I went to prison, I want to spoil their name. So me, I won't say anything. This, this, this is you, you know, <laughs> and, you know, uh, Bernard, and you see, it runs through the chain. You see, there's parental responsibility first of all because mm-hmm. what if you go through the, a, a child's mind mm-hmm. to go to school and think that because he's in school, he's entitled to beat up. Come, you, you, didn't, you, didn't, you left him in the house to fool around. Exactly. So, so he now feels that he can go out there and, and, there, and advertise that irresponsibility. Of course, I appreciate that there is a difference between Jimakla and Klamase. Mm-hmm. You understand? Jimakla is where you are not properly Born raised at all. and not raised. Uh-huh. So but you are doing... Klamase is raised, but not. Yeah, I, but won't, I won't be raised. Exactly. So, so yes, yeah, so that's being appreciated. Yeah. I appreciate the, the difficulty that some parents go through yeah. trying to reform the child, but it's difficult. But it's kind of for is, a, a teacher to tell a parent that you should come for your child before. What, they are you, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, another one that will shock you. Good morning, guys. I lost my obedient, God fearing son to drugs when I took him to SHS at Kofridia Sec Tech. He was introduced to it as part of their dormitory training and he got hooked. He could not complete the school and we are still struggling with the situation now. Oh, no. God help us. You mean he's now smoking weed? Oh. After two years of secondary school. But now, it's not that the teachers don't care. Any little thing that the teachers uh, are first, any little thing, the teachers are the first to be sacrificed by the GES. The whole GES school management has failed beyond measure. This is another message coming th- uh, through. Uh, here's another one. Hello, Bernard and team. Hello. I think it is not fair for the independent consultant to say that the parent was exaggerating what has happened. <laughs> you have visited 87 or so schools. Somebody's son has been sleeping in a school for two years mm-hmm. and is given a report. And you who have not been uh, visiting and possibly getting reported information is saying that this parent is exaggerating. Mm-hmm. This is worrisome. Is that, is that we need research? No, no, no. Is that we need research? No, 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 no. With the greatest respect. No, you need research. No, no, anyway, data. This one says, you have data. What the parents you just interviewed said is true. Yeah. In discipline is at a high level in SHSs. Mm-hmm. Please inform Della the day the school system is not the the day school system is not the best for us currently under the free SHS policy. Parents don't care and do not do enough nurturing these days. It's the boarding system that helps to shape no, 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 the no, no, few no, no. bad. This one there is not true. The boarding system has collapsed. The boarding system in the 60s and 70s is not the boarding system of today. Ah, today you have 400 students in a dormitory meant for 60 people. You are saying that's proper boarding system. Bro. This one says, it is barbaric bullying and lawlessness like this that destroyed the glory of a once prestigious school in the 60s to early 80s, Obwasi Sektek. Oh. Something drastic must be done quickly mm. before a disco falls like a pack of cards. If it doesn't fall in already. This one says, my time as a house prefect in SSS, Mm -hmm. I have intervened in lots of bullying and assault cases. Most of these things happen during non-school hours and in the boarding house. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there is no rule book on punishment for prefects or seniors. Mm. That's what Ben is saying. Mm -hmm. This one says, GIA is the problem here. Teachers can't punish students for anything. Mm -hmm. When they do, they are punished. This this seems to be a theme that's running through. They are left to rot. Mm -hmm. I also have further information that boys that both boys are from three boys who were fighting and they lied to the housemaster afterwards. Hmm. The schools need to be given the power to do the needful. Hmm. I'm, a, I'm sad as a Santa Clausian today hmm. because discipline was cardinal and that's what shaped us to be who we are. Right. Fifi Tamaklu, who's Santa O5. At this school, you know, the old, the old students should get involved though because the thing that's happening, if you don't get involved, the school that you are proud of will finish. Yeah, uh, and let me just get into what um, mm-hmm. you know. Fifi had said, Fifi, when you see a fight between two people, you can recognize it, right? Because again, of course, we've not seen the full video as in the beginning to the end. But what we saw in that video was mm-hmm. one person who appears bigger, choke holding another, mm-hmm. and we have seen repeated cases of people dying as a result of choke hold. Very recently in the U.S. Mm-hmm. There was this, um, you know, comedian who would go on trains and and, and be, you know, like mimicking all kinds mm-hmm. of stars. And, and he, he was famous for mimicking uh, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Someone went into that chokehold 
with him mm -hmm. and killed him as a result. The person is currently tr standing trial. <laughs> so this guy we are talking about in the video was choke holding the young man and in the process hit his head against a metal surface. It must have been a bank bed or something Serious? like that. And then from the video, a cut developed and you could see blood, you know, oozing out. Now, you can't tell me that, from FSC, merely looking at that, you can't convince me that this was a case of fighting. Because is that, fighting... Is that how they fight? Uh, yeah. Guys, sometimes people even comment that I've been seeing the video. Oh. Is that how they fight in your that's not, that's not fighting. <laughs> that somebody is... <laughs> Charlie, free, free. People can say anything they like. Uh, please go on. Right. Yeah. This person mm. says, I can't believe my ears listening to this education consultant. Let them sit there. They are coming for them at the national level. They are raising a rebellious generation. Yes, another one. Bernard, I agree with the lawyer who sent a message earlier. These conducts are criminal and should be treated as such under the Juvenile Justice Act. A juvenile offender is someone above 12 and below 18 who is in conflict with the law. Only a person below 12 years cannot commit a crime. Mm -hmm. I think the matter has to be dealt with decisively. Such conduct should be taken through the criminal process and punished even if it is to reform. Being taken away and kept in correctional facilities is enough deprivation. This is from uh, Albert, a lawyer. Mm. Um, <laughs> Charlie, you know the funny message I got this morning? Which one? It's a better, this has come to cover Cecilia. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, you know, we can do the two things at the same time. We are building a nation. Oh, no. You know, the, the we but are building OSB working. So is yes. it always be also discussing at this other? No, I mean the latest which we announced much earlier was that um no, she was no it's the cynicism. It's like the <laughs> other that challenge now this... people have, have leaked the video so that we would not forget about Cecilia. No, 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 no. This is Cecilia. No, I think we should be I think the the OSP has been doing and we've been covering yeah, that's right. Cecilia that's right. the past well. And the latest, you know, came up this this dawn that she was released. After yeah. 10 p.m. yesterday, yes, after, after a long was, grilling, yeah. and also that something significant had been, or may or may may, may have been found in in, in during the search conducted. Uh, yes, one funny message. Yeah. So Bernard, we had a senior in Achimota School hmm. who used the big padlock to hit the tip of our fingers anytime we were late to leave the house. Wow. And we're always late by his standard because he would come in, counting in his head for us to leave the house. Today is a motivational speaker. <laughs> 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 tell him no. You know, so let, no, me, let me tell you. Let me let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. But if let me, let me the, 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 guy, the guy won't release the name, but I feel like they just watch. Let, let, let me let me. Today is not a good day for releasing of <laughs> names. Maybe next week. You see, the, you know, when no, I, I want to I, drop I, that senior's no, name, no, I beg, fine. I beg, I beg, I beg. Okay. You see, let's move on. When I was in uh, junior junior high school, yeah. Something happened. I was the senior on duty at the time. SOD. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where Charlie, you go and supervise, you know. Yeah. Make sure everything's okay. Yeah, that's how you conduct the assembly yeah. and all of that. Um, one, one, one morning, mm -hmm. this I'm talking about Dafiano mm -hmm. Junior High School, which mm -hmm. is JSS at the time. Mm -hmm. A number of students were coming in. They mm -hmm. were late. Mm -hmm. And they had rung the bell that assembly. Mm -hmm. So ideally, they should be running, right? Mm -hmm. But some of them were basically galleying, as we say. Like they were walking, with, you know, like they didn't care. Yes. Forgetting that I was the man on duty. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. S O D. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so I invoked my authority yes. and asked all of them to go on their knees. Yeah. Nina. Yes. Nina. You are commanded. So everybody <laughs> went on their knees. Better. Yeah. My mistake was that I did not realize that there was a young man yeah. who has prosthetic legs. Oh. Who I had. So I, when I commanded the group. You didn't know that he was part of the team. So he also went down. And then I think in the process, Jesus. the thing sort of dislocated because uh, he, he had, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bernard. Senior is hot. Look. <laughs> Senior you know, let me tell you something. Mm. My father ordered the school, yes, first of all, <laughs> yes, that I should be disciplined. And I was, what sham? You want to say, what sham? You know the meaning, like, they, 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 they will no, lay you, yes. thank you. <laughs> that, that was in the school, though. in public, <laughs> in front of everybody, of course. And then subsequently, when I went home, my father also delivered you at dawn. So, you know, you sleep, you know, enjoying, <laughs> dreaming. And then he'll call you in the morning. No, he will call you. 
He untied the mosquito net. Yeah. So the mosquito net was untied, yeah. and then it will hold you together. Like if uh-huh. as it falls on you, uh-huh. you, you can't get run trapped. Out. You can't get out. Uh-huh. You, 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 you know, it, that, your father didn't allow this it, thing it, to go uncorrected. Typical uh, discipline yeah, you that you that. cannot go you out. I still remember it today. Oh, I still remember. <laughs> so you cannot go out. First of all. I, honestly, I was not acting like capriciously. But, I just thought, you know, it was something that we were doing. But, you but I didn't your, realize you that. You exercise your power, your discretion without yeah, yeah, yeah. due, due care. hand to the young man who yeah. was yeah. adversely affected mm-hmm. beyond, because ideally I shouldn't have asked him. him to that thing. Uh-huh. So he also got down on his, his knees. I was punished at school. Punished at I remember that punishment clearly. It must have been Mr. Nonu. <laughs> I believe he's listening to me. Dealt. <laughs> Serious punishment. Yes. <laughs> After that, when I went home, the father at dawn, I was disciplined the, again. He administered the, uh, the, 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 the genome. Yeah, so, you know, these days, mm. we assume that is yeah. freedom, yeah. you know, yeah. kids are doing anything they yeah. want to do yeah. because we believe that there's a certain... F- you cannot do that. So parents have a responsibility. responsibility to, let us not outsource our responsibility to the kid, uh, what do you yeah, call the it, schools. the, 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 the school mm-hmm. or, or the headmasters. It's very important. We have a role to I play. want you to deal with the last two messages. So it looks like a disco and a crack. A, 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 you don't understand? <laughs> no, but I saw that one day. <laughs> no, a disco and a crack are getting a lot of stray bullets today. <laughs> All right, this one says, I remember when I was in SHS in mm-hmm. 2006, I was the girl's dorm prefect. Mm-hmm. A prefect, uh, a parent, sorry, came to tell me that her child was stubborn and so I should discipline her. Oh. Sometimes the parents initiate this well, bullying. That's, that's an, I don't know. Anyway, okay. that's from my true queen's mm-hmm. text. This one says, concerning the Adisco case, mm-hmm. can the state take the matter up as a criminal case to set an example? <laughs> if I were the victim's parents, I'll make sure the culprit is not accepted in any school for the rest of his life. Hmm. Such nonsense. Yeah. Mavis in Adenta. Mm. Jonah, uh, Jones, sorry, from Tema, mm. says, I completed PESCO in 2017. Mm. During our time, there was some bullying, but not to this extent. No. And if, and if, even if anyone got injured, the victim hardly reported. That's the culture of being in a boy's school. It mm. has to change. Yo. This one says, the bullying of SHS students by fellow students on the rise. My nephew is in SHS 1 at the Boaca State College. He was beating at dawn by his seniors. Last month, he was only given Exia to come home for care. Nothing was done to the students, and he's scared to point out those who beat him. Sandra in Taifa sent that. So those who have money will not send their children to these schools. It's, 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 and those who cannot afford it will have to tolerate this kind of behavior. Yeah, there's something going wrong. We should we should cure uh, it before are, it gets. But my time. consultant is getting many comments this morning. This one says, "Good morning, <laughs> man." And I'm very surprised that the consultant for years used the term punishment instead of corrective measures. Speaks a lot about our approach to teaching. Could do an adenta is not happy. Uh-huh. This one says, "Talking about bungalows for teachers, mm-hmm. come to where I teach. Bungalows meant for teachers are used as dormitory for students." Mm. Mm. And uh, this one is talking about capital ma- punishment and uh, talking about the fact that if it is eliminated, indiscipline will emerge in a big way. Uh, and says that we Africans are not white people. You see the problems that we are creating. Mm. And this one says, good morning, Team City. Mm-hmm. It is apparent that we have lost it. Discipline is lost and it is absurd. We may think we are upholding human rights by abolishing reasonable punishment or punitive measures to our wards in hmm. schools when they go wrong. This is the beginning of failure of the system. Western cultures uh, of cajoling, recalcitrant, uh, you know, students with absurd human rights laws, whereas the Bible insists not, what do you call it? The, the Bible insists spare the rod and spoil the charge. Oh.